the left bumper to change for that. Right. Yeah. So today we have David Buchanan. Well, they're the first team left back, and uh, yeah, basically I'm just going to sit here and play a couple of games of FIFA with him, ask him a few questions that you guys want to ask him, and uh, then we're going to do a bit of a Q and A. So, anything you want to say before the game? Good luck. <laughs> So you played under 19s and under 21 for Northern Ireland? Yes, I did, yeah. Uh, is there any sort of key moment when you put on your obviously your nationality shirt that you really stand out to? Like, is there any key highlight? Yeah, obviously, uh, making my debut was the biggest. For the under 19s, making my debut for obviously my country was something that I'll never forget. You know, as you say, when you stand there. Uh, the national anthem comes on. Uh, yeah, it's something that really I'm proud of. You know, yeah. to, to to play in Italy as well. Yeah, uh, against obviously one of the best teams in the world. And on that day, we drew one all and actually got the equaliser. Yeah. So as I say, that was one of one of the best memories I've got within football. Not just obviously I was I was only just turned professional then. But yeah. In terms of playing. Yeah, that, that's right up there with one of my proudest moments. Yeah. So you've been with Northampton since 2015. Yeah. Uh, and obviously you joined that season and Northampton went to go and win League Two. Yeah. yeah. Uh, what would you say was your key highlight in that season? Like, what would you say is, it could be coming back from 2-0 down to come back to 2 all, or what would you say is your highlight in that season? Uh, for me, that season, the biggest thing about that scene for me was just the togetherness of the whole group, uh, the the players, the staff, everyone within the club really. Yeah. You know, uh, I think everybody knows the situation was when we weren't getting paid, the staff weren't getting paid, and the club looked like it was going out of, you know, into liquidation really. And I remember yeah. standing outside uh, one training session with a fan who was buying tickets, you know, with a young kid and. He was in tears and I was talking to him, uh, just how much of it really meant to the club and the performance on the pitch were obviously second to none, yeah. but I think everything that went on and the way we galvanised each other was uh, was the biggest thing that I enjoyed about it and in terms of in terms of performances there was a there was a few to, a few I can mention, you know, I loved I loved it when we when when we won away at Oxford. Yeah. You know, I loved it when we scored that late comeback, Ricky Holmes' goal against Stevenage. You know, I think that was the day I felt like we were really gonna go on and win the league. Yeah. Uh, but there's loads of memories, you know, captain Man United, obviously my boyhood team and yeah. team I support and obviously line up against them was brilliant. But that season I think the togetherness of the whole group and the way the fans, uh, the players, the staff, all, all we were one team and that's the way a football club should be. Yeah. Uh, luckily enough, we, we were so successful on the pitch, which helps things even more. So when you say like it, in the 2015 season, like it was a one team, so you've obviously got obviously different players in the club now than what you have in the start of 11 in 2015, but what would you say Obviously, Jimmy's coming in as a new manager and he's got his own ways. What would you say to now that's changed compared to what's in 2015? Like, uh, what, what would you say? Obviously? obviously, obviously, since then we've had a couple of managers in. You know, different philosophies, a, a lot of turnover in player. Uh, but since Jimmy's come in, you know, he, he he's really intense. Uh, you've got to work hard, and he wants his teams to be to be at it and to be disciplined and play from within your shape, which is, which is, is, is really good. Yeah. You know, I think from the start uh, we, we really bought into his his ideas and, you know, we're all still learning together. So you have one goal to your name at Northampton Town. Yeah. Uh, obviously, you're going to know that. Would you like to tell the fans how how it happened and where it happened? Yeah, obviously. We were, it happened at Rochdale, which is my own town club, which you know, it's amazing, isn't it, really? The one goal you do score for for your team is against the place of where you grew up, where all your family are, and you know. It was got a bit of a debate, debate but it, I think it was my 501st appearance in the end. Uh, we thought it was our 500 before the game, but 
between Matt and Gareth, uh, they informed me that was at my 501st. Uh, but yeah, it was an, as you say, it was an important goal. We found ourselves 2 0 down in the game. Obviously, things haven't been going so well for us. And we got back into it uh, through Ash Taylor, and then uh, my goal, just remember, we had a throw in on the, the left hand side and threw it into Pauli. Uh, he did a bit of trickery around the box, and you know, I carried on my run, and it fell nice for me. And I, I took the shot the inside of the post and went in. You know, it's obviously a, a great feeling, obviously for myself, but at that time, from being 2 0 down, it the first time we'd come back. Uh, from going a goal down uh, in, to get something out of it. And the only disappointing thing was, in the end, we probably should have won it with Mr. Bentley in the last minute. But I think that, not my goal, but I think the comeback that day gives a bit of belief, and that's when we started. We went, we went, on, a, we went on a great run after yeah. that. So the game did finish 5 0. Uh, just want to ask you a couple of questions that the fans want to ask yourself. Uh, one one that I'm going to obviously ask all the starting eleven. Uh, what would you say is your Nando's order? Oh. We've had uh, a f two good ones so far. Uh, yeah. What would you say is your Nando's order? Yeah, like my, your regular basis. My Nando's order on a regular basis is a hummus starter, uh, chicken thighs, hot or extra hot, with super green rice, uh, nacho peas, and a little bit. So obviously you're 31 years of age. Uh, where do you see yourself in like the next five years? Do you see Steve? Still see yourself being at the Cobblers? I don't see why not. You know, I'm, I'm under contract at the minute. Uh, as you say, I'm I'm fit. I'm uh, I'm playing I'm playing well. I can play better, but I'm playing well. You know, as I say, I've only missed one game uh, in the league since I, since I've arrived here. And as I say, I'm happy to stay here for as, for as long as they want as long as they want me to. So obviously, you've got your own FIFA card. Oh yeah. Uh, what would you say? Obviously, they're not accurate, are they? Let's be honest. But you know, what would you say they let you down on? You've got sixty-three pace, uh, forty-two shot, fifty-six passing, sixty-three de dribbling, sixty-two defending, and sixty-nine physical. I think passing more than anything they've let me down on that. Yeah. Yeah. If I'm if I'm sixty-three dribbling, I'm I'm at least that for passing. You know. Yeah. I am I dribbling better than my defending? I'll never know. <laughs> Well, you you're only one away from a silver card, okay. sixty five rated as a silver. So you're top of the bronze set. So, sixty five then, is it? And Regan has his own pro card. Like he gets the ninety nine rated card because obviously he plays the game. Would you ever think about picking up a pad when you know he's playing? Or I've not got enough time. You know, <laughs> being honest, I've got four kids and you know, got uni work as well. But you know, I'd rather just sit and watch the lads argue over it. Yeah, that, that's the best bit about FIFA, I think. You know, people who can play it when when two people can play it, you know, it's always complaints. It's never, it's never, no one's ever better than anyone at FIFA. Yeah. It's always someone else's fault. It's yeah. always the game's fault. Yeah. Trust me, I know that feeling. <laughs>